If you are needing help reading the News ELA article, I'm gonna read it for you. So when you click on the resource, it brings up this website, News ELA, and that's a website that has some articles uh, dealing with our social studies. So we are gonna be studying about Colorado. And the name of this article that I want you to look at is called The Centennial State. It's got that beautiful picture of our Rocky Mountains. You'll recognize that. Underneath it, there's a caption and the caption reads, tourists can visit the Rocky Mountains in Colorado at the Rocky Mountain National Park. If you've ever gone there, it's near Estes Park and it's beautiful. It says the park is about 415 square miles and visitors can hike or discover wildlife there. So it's super fun there. You can do lots of different things. And it says 415 square miles. So when we talk about square units, it's one mile by one mile is a square unit. So 415 of those, it's a very large park. All right, moving on to the article. The state of Colorado is part of the American Southwest. About 15,000 years ago, hunters roamed here. They tracked big animals like woolly mammoths. Later, the first settlements appeared. Native peoples built permanent dwellings in the southwest part of Colorado. One group carved amazing homes into cliffs. Maybe you've been there to explore that. Mesa Verde is one of them. Other Native American nations later moved into the area. They include the Arapaho and Ute. So, so those are Native American tribes that were indigenous to the United States and the Colorado region, Colorado State. All right, so now these pictures are showing symbols of Colorado. So right here, it's a map and it shows the capital. That star indicates it's the capital of Colorado. Who knows what it is? Yep, Denver. Some of us live there. Our school is in Denver, Colorado. That's our state capital. Um, the rest of that shows the map symbol for trees and forests and mountain ranges for Rocky Mountains and Aspen, Colorado. Over here we have a quarter and it says Colorado 1876 is when it became a state. Um, bighorn sheep are found in Colorado. That's the state animal. Our state flower is the columbine. It is white and lavender color. It's very beautiful and maybe you've seen some around. All right, why is it called that? So reading the rest of the article, let me turn the computer so you can see where I'm at. Why is it called that? So that's the next heading. Spanish explorers came to the region in the 1500s. They gave Colorado its name, which means colored red in Spanish. So you might say Colorado, okay? It described the color of a large river that runs through the region. Both the river and the state took the name. They both had that red color, Colorado. Colorado is also nicknamed the Centennial State. It became part of the United States in 1876. That was exactly 100 years after the country was founding, founded in 1776. So Colorado was made into a state in 1876. That's why that quarter is stamped with that date. Centennial describes something that is 100 years old. So Centennial is another way to say 100. So that's why they call us Colorado, the Centennial State, because we became a state exactly 100 years after the United States became free and been established as the United States. Geography and landforms, super important. More information about Colorado. Now the geography is the land, okay? Colorado touches Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico at a single point. This is so interesting. So there are three other states that we touch, Colorado, at the same point. And this location is known as the Four Corners. So what's really interesting, and I wanna look up some pictures about the Four Corners because I know we're talking about perpendicular lines. And I feel like maybe they look like perpendicular lines. So Four Corners are touching 
All four states come together at one point, and we're one of those states, Colorado. Um, the Rocky Mountains cover much, oh, sorry, I skipped some. It is the only place in the country where you can stand in four states at the same time. For many geography fans, it is a favorite spot. That sounds really cool. I've never been there, but it sounds really neat. Like down in the south part of Colorado, where all those states meet would be really neat to go to. The Rocky Mountains cover much of Colorado's western part. This range of tall peaks stretches from New Mexico to Canada. To the east of the Rockies are the Great Plains. This is a huge grassland. Today, it is covered by farms and ranches. It's good an area for growing and taking care of cattle, growing vegetables and plants and taking care of cattle and different animals. The Rocky Mountains divide the river systems of North America. Water on the west side flows west. It ends up in the Pacific Ocean. So water that runs down the west side of the Rocky Mountains flows all the way like towards California, Oregon, and it dumps into the Pacific Ocean. Any water that falls on the east side, it ends up in the Atlantic Ocean. So it'll flow all the way to the other side the East Coast. Then it says, did you know? So we're to that part with the big picture. What is that animal? Do you know what that animal is? We see it quite often, or many of them in fields. Prairie dogs are not really dogs. They are actually rodents. So in the like rabbit, mouse, rat family, those are rodents, they're mammals. These creatures weigh just one to three pounds. They are an important part of our ecosystem. So you may see them, they live in packs, um, they're group animals and they live in different areas here in Colorado. Sometimes you'll see them, they'll have a whole field kind of to themselves and they have a whole ecosystem that goes underground and they're very important to our ecosystem, the whole ecosystem of Colorado. Wildlife. Colorado's mountains are home to many wild animals. They include mountain goats and mountain lions. There are also black bears and beavers. The Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep is the state mammal. If you've been ever special enough to see one, maybe in the mountains, they're very cool. They stand up on the mountain and they've got these neat adaptations in their feet, their hooves so that it can climb up rocks and climb up really high. They're really cool and they've got the big horns. That's our state animal. Natural resources. People have mined for valuable metals in Colorado's mountains and hills. They have found gold and silver. The plains are dotted with wells. They pull oil and natural gas from underground. Farming is another important business. So when we talk about what natural resources Colorado has, that's where you'll be able to find it in that part of the article. Tourism is another important industry in this state. Visitors come from all around the world. They backpack in the mountains. Skiers glide down the slopes at ski resorts. We have some of the best skiing in our mountains in the whole world here in Colorado. So a lot of people travel either from Colorado or around the world to come to our mountains to ski. And a lot of the Olympic trainers even train here too. Fun stuff. Skiing in Colorado has an interesting history. During World War II, some American soldiers were based in the state. They trained there for mountain fighting. Skiing was one of the skills they learned. After the war, some returned to Colorado. They built ski resorts so they could enjoy the sport. So they found out they really liked and enjoyed skiing, so they came back and built ski resorts, which still stand today. Very interesting. Colorado's population continues to grow. Many visitors fall in love with the state's beauty. So our population, the amount of people living here has increased quite a bit year after year because people really enjoy our state. We've become very, very popular. So here is a map of the entire United States, and there's Colorado, we're in the Southwest. There we are. 
and that's it for the article. So after you listen to this video, you can go back and reread it yourself or read along with it as I read it to you, okay? Take that information and then you're gonna use it to answer some questions in the Google Doc, which is next. All right, so use this video as much as you need to find all the information you need.